many of the medieval mystic uh, uh, Christian leaders and so on, they would always go to Isaiah 6 to develop their sense of what spiritual maturation processes were like. And <clears throat> in Isaiah 6, it, it says that in the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord lofty and exalted. Uzziah had been king of Israel for about 50 years. And people hardly knew what, what uh, the passage on of the, of the kingdom would be because most of the people were dead the last time it was passed on. And so here in the year of King Uzziah's death, even that which represented the greatest of human stability is now no more. And in that year, Isaiah comes in the temple and he sees the vision of God. And the whole train of his robe is filling the temple. And the seraphim are crying out, holy, holy, holy. And Isaiah responds, and he says, woe is me, I'm a man of unclean lips, and I come from a people of unclean lips. So the first step in the scale of perfection is by understanding my identity and relationship with God, I begin to see who I am in light of his holiness, and I come up with what they call the purgative phase, the first phase. I recognize I'm a sinner. But I don't want to avert my eyes at that point I continue to look at God, and God directed this seraphim to take a coal from the altar and take it to cleanse Isaiah's lips. And at that particular point, we get the idea of the, the scale illumination, the second phase of the scale of perfection. And illumination is when I recognize that God's grace is directed towards me, failed as I am, and God's grace forgives me of my sins. He continues to look at God, and God says to the prophet, Who will go for me? Who will I send? And Isaiah is quick to raise his hand and say, O oh Lord, send me, send me. So the scale of perfection is called the purgative, the realize, realization I'm a sinner. The second one is the scale of illumination, recognize God has given me grace. And the third one is a recognize that God still has purposes for me.